Hey guys, it's Professor Pro, and welcome to episode 4 of Show Me Your Moves. Today we'll be looking at a villain who just so happens to be from one of my favorite games and series of all time, the beanish lunatic himself, Fawful. Fawful is a character from the Mario & Luigi series of RPG games, created by Alpha Dream. He began his story as a sidekick to Cacletta, the main villain in Super Star Saga. After her demise, he retreated into hiding and could be found plotting his revenge against Mario, Luigi, and the Mushroom Kingdom Underground in Partners in Time, the second game in the series. In Bowser's Inside Story, he finally re-emerged and became the main villain, almost succeeding in his plan to conquer the kingdom, but ending up being thwarted by the bros and Bowser. A lot of people love Fawful because of his character development, including myself. We see every step of his planning and how it eventually works out. Because Fawful is so wacky and insane, I was absolutely ecstatic to create a moveset for him. So without further ado, let's get into how Fawful could work in Smash. Fawful isn't really the running around type. He tends to rely on his inventions for basic movement, so it's tough to get a good judgement on how fast he is. However, in certain cases where his headgear is destroyed, we do see how he moves without it, and well, let's just say he certainly isn't winning a marathon. Because of his sluggishness, I also decided to make him a middleweight character, as it fits best. Now, onto the moveset. If we've learned one thing about Fawful from the Mario & Luigi games, it's that he doesn't usually like to be direct. He's cunning, likes to hide in the shadows, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. He's a very technical person, and to reflect this, I wanted to give him some pretty technical moves. I think it only makes sense for Fawful to be a character who's easy to pick up, but difficult to master. Fawful's jab has him slap in front of himself twice before having his vacuum helmet finish by chomping the opponent. It's definitely on the slower side compared to most jabs, but makes up for this with the final hit's insane damage output. His dash attack is a simple roll forwards, similar to Donkey Kong or Banjo's dash attacks. This is a reference to his only attack when he destroy his helmet on the Koopa Cruiser in Super Star Saga. For his forward tilt, Fawful slaps the ground in front of him, causing a fire to burst from the floor. This move references the Fire Hand, an ability Mario has in Super Star Saga. His up tilt has him clap his hands above his head, creating an electric spark, referencing Luigi's Thunder Hand, which is honestly a move Luigi should have in Smash instead of his green fire thing. Fawful's down tilt has him pluck a bean out of the ground, referencing the fact that he's a beanish person. The move has an absolutely tiny hitbox, but buries any opponents unfortunate enough to be hit by it. For his neutral air, Fawful summons the Bean Star and spins it around himself, creating a multi-hitting attack comparable to that of Ivysaur or Banjo. For Fawful's forward air, he makes his vacuum helmet shoot a small ball of energy forward. It would be one of the few aerials in the game to use a projectile, similar to Villager's Fair. His back air has him release a cloud of green smoke from his vacuum helmet. This move causes opponents to have a short poison effect and has a very large hitbox. For his up air, Fawful grabs Stuffwell from Partners in Time, opens him up, and clamps him hard above his head. This move has incredible speed, but suffers in the damage department. Fawful's down air has him turn the jets of his vacuum helmet upside down, sending him speeding towards the ground in a stall and fall. Fawful's forward smash is a strong frontward swing from his vacuum helmet, its head forming a wrecking ball. The helmet looks similar during this move to how it does when it captures Mario or Luigi in the Dark Fawful boss battle. Fawful's up smash has him grow an antenna on top of his head and shoot a large ball of electricity upward, a reference to one of his moves in his final fight in Super Star Saga. It doesn't have very good range and has quite a bit of startup lag, but is easily Fawful's most powerful smash attack. His down smash has him lift up his cape and slam it down on both sides. This is his quickest smash attack, but also his weakest, working best as a move to get people off of him. Choosing specials for Fawful was harder than I expected it to be. Even though he technically only has a few moves to choose from across all of his battles, I found myself having trouble picking some over others. But I think the ones that I ended up going with not only are the coolest, but also the most original. Fawful's neutral special is called Shooting Star. He pulls out his laser pistol and fires a star out of it. Get it? Shooting star? Because he's, <laughs> he's actually shooting a star? I'm a genius. The longer the B button is held, the more stars will appear behind the initially fired one, three extras being the maximum. This move works like PK Thunder or Snake's side special, allowing Fawful to have complete control over where the star slash stars go. The leading star is the largest and does the most damage. 
If it hits an opponent, all the stars behind it will increase its damage and disappear. However, if you maneuver the move so that one of the trailing stars hits the opponent instead of the main star, you can continue to control it. Fawful can cancel out of this move at any time by pressing B while it's active. Fawful's side special is called Energy Portal. When side B is pressed, Fawful opens a dark portal which will stay on the stage. When side B is pressed a second time, Fawful will open another portal next to himself and fire a ball of energy through it, making it come out of the original portal. The second portal is only open for a short amount of time while Fawful does his thing, but while it is, opponents can fire projectiles through the other portal to hit him, so there is some risk involved. This move is extremely useful for edge guarding, allowing Fawful to cover insane amounts of the stage. His up special is simply called Vacuum Helmet. Fawful charges the jets on his headgear and launches upwards at insane speeds. It works similarly to Diddy's up special in the way that it charges, but can fly for much longer and is much faster. Although, it only does a fraction of the damage that Diddy's up special does. Ironically, Fawful's final special doesn't have him attack in any way. Instead, he gets a minion to do it for him. His down special is called Midbiss Rush. This move has Fawful point and summon Midbiss who charges forward, finishing with a belly flop. This move is very slow but does insane amounts of damage, excelling in breaking shields. And there's still another portion to it. If down B is held instead of tapped, Midbiss will transform into Blizzard Midbiss and freeze the opponent instead of trampling them. Fawful's grab has his vacuum helmet transform into the toothed version that we see at certain points and take hold of the opponent. His pummel just has it chomp down on the enemy. For his forward throw, Fawful tosses a ball of dark energy at the opponent, sending them flying. His back throw has his helmet put the opponent in a ball like it does with the bros and launch them backwards. For the up throw, the vacuum helmet throws the opponent into the air, followed by a poke from Fawful with a crystal star shard, the main collectible in Partners in Time. And for the down throw, Fawful raises his arm and summons a bolt of pinkish lightning that crashes down onto him and the opponent. This move is self-damaging, but is extremely powerful, and is a reference to one of Kakleta's attacks in Superstar Saga. And now, for Fawful's most powerful move, the final smash. This attack is called Dark Star Beam. Fawful transforms into a giant Dark Star core, and shoots a ginormous laser beam across the stage with his antenna, greatly damaging any opponents in its path. But, even when the lasers finish firing, the attack isn't over. The Dark Star separates from Fawful's head, and hunts down any opponents who weren't hit by the beam, relentlessly chasing them across the battlefield. Once it disappears, Fawful transforms back into his regular form. For his ledge attack, Fawful uses a hammer to hit the ground in front of him, a weapon commonly used by the bros in the Mario & Luigi series. His get-up attack has him swing his cape around himself before standing up. Fawful's side taunt has him do his iconic maniacal laugh. For his up taunt, he summons a bat that flies around his head, a reference to his late master Cacleta. For his down taunt, Fawful transforms into the Dark Star core, hops around for a bit, and then transforms back into himself. Fawful's stage entrance has him fly in on his rocket platform that he's commonly seen riding throughout Bowser's Inside Story. Fawful's first victory screen is pretty basic. The camera simply zooms into his face as he laughs, the laugh continuing eerily even after his name is said. For his second victory screen, he slides across the ground and hops into his Fawful Fort from Superstar Saga. I'm pretty sure that isn't the official name, but I'm sticking with it. And for his third victory screen, Fawful is shown making modifications to his helmet with a wrench. This backfires and sends him flying into the air. Now that we're done with Fawful's moves, we can look at the kind of things he would bring with him, like the stage, alternate costumes, and music tracks. Let's start with the costumes. Fawful's taken many different appearances over the course of the Mario & Luigi games, so I tried to reference those in his costumes as well as other characters and items that are important to the series, like the Shroobs from Partners in Time, or the Dreamstone from Dream Team. I have to say though, I think the Dark Fawful costume and the Dark Star Core costumes are my favorite, the Shroob costume not being too far behind. One of my favorite things about the Mario & Luigi series is how it tends to bring the bros and company to different locations. Well, okay, technically three out of the five games take place in the Mushroom Kingdom, but Partners in Time takes place in a past version of it that's been shroobified for the most part, so that doesn't really count. Even though it'd be really cool to use, say, Fawful's castle from Bowser's Inside Story as a stage, as it really does a great job of showcasing his villainy and insanity, I think the best choice for a stage would be his home, the Bean Bean Kingdom. 
This stage would be similar to Woohoo Island or Isle Delfino, using a platform to go to various locations. The platform used could even be the Koopa Cruiser, as it's an iconic part of Superstar Saga. It would stop at various locations in the kingdom, such as the castle, Oho Oasis, Chuckaluck Woods, Teehee Valley, and more. A stage like this could do a great job of representing the Mario Luigi series, or at least Superstar Saga, as a whole, and not just Fawful himself. And finally, the music. Man, and I thought picking Sans' music was hard. The Mario Luigi series has some incredible tunes, and being limited to only choosing a few was extremely difficult. Earlier this month, I was really wondering how I could possibly only choose a handful of songs from this series. But then, luckily for me, Mr. Bogard came along with his 50 music tracks and put all my worries to rest about choosing an unreasonable number of songs. So, I ended up with 45 music tracks for the Mario Luigi series. And that was me being hard on it. Similar to what I did with Undertale, I tried to give some of the remix spotlight to songs that are incredible, but don't exactly fit a fighting game. A few examples of this being Yub's Belly, The Wind is Blowing at Cavi Cape, Fawful is There, and more. But of course, I still have remixes to tracks like In the Final and The Final Antasma Battle. I'm only human after all. And with that, I think this episode of Show Me Your Moves has come to a close. What did you guys think of my moveset? What changes would you make to it? How would you feel if Fawful was announced to be in Smash Ultimate? Let me know in the comments below. Professor Pro, out.